Wolfwalkers is the latest movie from Cartoon Saloon and directed by Tom Moore. You might be familiar with them with the movies Secret of Kells and Song of the Sea, which are both excellent movies. And both of those previous movies focus on Irish folklore and mythology, and this one is no different. Like the title suggests, it focuses on these uh, creatures called wolfwalkers who are humans that become wolves when they sleep. Not like a werewolf, particularly, it's more like they're asleep, their body stays there, and they have like a manifestation of a wolf that they control. It's very cool! The story takes place in the 1600s, I believe. I think it's like 1650 is the time of the setting. And that's at a time when the Irish were under British rule. The main character, Robin, and her father are there um, as British uh, in Ireland. And her father is a wolf hunter. And she also wants to hunt wolves, but her father wants to keep her safe. While sneaking out of the town and following her father, she comes across one of these wolf walkers. Both of them are apprehensive at first with one another, but then they start to become friends. And that's sort of where the core of the movie is with their friendship and the misunderstanding between the wolf walkers and the humans. And there is a defined villain in this with the Lord Protector uh, who runs the town. He and the people there have been cutting down the woods and trying to get rid of the wolves. The villain sort of reminds me of a cross between Clayton from uh, Tarzan and uh, Radcliffe from Pocahontas. So for the story of the film, I thought it was really well told, but I think I prefer the stories in Secret of Kells and Song of the Sea. Um, the characters are really good. I just wish I had a lot more time with them. But as always with Tom Moore's films, the, it's beautiful. It's just fantastic to look at. Like every single frame looks like you could hang it up. It's just like a work of art. And of course the music in the film is also really good. There's a couple of vocal songs that I really liked from it. I'll have to look those up later and listen to them again. If you are a fan of Secret of Kells and Song of the Sea, you probably have already went out to try to go watch this. Because at the moment, it's only available for rent from the uh, Toronto International Film Festival on their website. And that will be until the 20th, I believe. But after that, it will be streaming on Apple TV+, Plus. I'm not sure when though. And also, later in the year, they're going to try to have a theatrical release. I'm not sure how well that's going to do, because it's probably going to be limited, and also because of, you know, the way the world is right now. But if you love 2D animation, especially stuff from Tom Moore and Cartoon Saloon, I implore you to rent it while you can. I do like the film a lot, but I do like Song of the Sea more, because it's one of my favorite films ever. And compared to Secret of Kells, I'd have to watch that again, because it's been a long time since I've seen it. But still, it's great to see very stylized 2D animation like this still be released. By the way, as you can see, I'm not home right now. I won't be home for a little while, so I'll have videos like this for the next couple of weeks. But anyway, if you've seen Wolfwalkers, let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Shut up. <laughs> I'll use that one.